and the master. The native Armenian is 24 years old, Carl Parisian, two years younger than the American Drew Fickett. Everything else is virtually the same. Once again, with our official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 30 wins with four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, Drew, the master, Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He holds a professional record of 23 wins with four losses. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of North Hollywood, California, Carol the Heat Parisian. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Mazzagatti. Referee Steve Mazzagatti, and this should be spectacular. Now, beautiful alley getting set for round number one. Carl Parisian, Drew Fickett, and we are underway. First of three five minute rounds, and Fickett comes out the aggressor. Drew Fickett's got some good strikes, he's moving very well. Carl Parisian's strength has always been his grappling and his judo throws. His stand-up is good, but Drew Fickett might have a slight edge there. Uh, nice good knee. knee. I'll tell you what, you talk about a gamer who went into battle and survived against Diego Sanchez. That was a tremendous fight between Parisian and Sanchez. Oh, big right hand by Cairo. And he shakes and he, oh, he took a shot to the groin right before it. In at Burton. Yeah, Carl was known as the Heat for a reason. The, that reason is this guy constantly puts pressure on his opponents. Let, let's take a look at the replay of that unfortunate shot to the gonads. Oh, yeah. Right before he landed the right hand. Take some time, Carl. Take it. And Carl can take as much time as he needs. And he will. Carl was very relaxed the last few days. He's right, ready. Drew. He's ready to All go. Right. You ready? Okay. Total Fight. mistake. Total no accident. Question. Fickett, um, I think you could say, is a confident young man. He's crazy. Yeah, Drew Fickett is a unique individual. Intensity plus velocity but this is, the is problem. what he is all about. Caro gets a hold of you. Caro is like a chimpanzee, man. He's got crazy strength. Rolling with that guy like you would think that he's 300 pounds. It's all the years and years of judo. Judo black belt. Good job by Drew Fickett standing up. Caro hits him with the right hand for his efforts. Six junior national judo crowns, one of the best judo practitioners in all the United States of America. Pickett has changed camps in preparation for this fight, working with Dennis Hallman and Ivan Salaberry and Ivan Salaberry's gym in Seattle. Couldn't ask for a better camp than that. So Fickett looking to branch out and improve. After taking out Batman, Kurt Pellegrino, in his last UFC fight. Yeah, Drew Fickett has great back control. That's one of the things he's got. If that guy gets your back and sinks a rear naked, and you're in deep trouble. And he earned the victory with that early in the third round. Parisian really coming over the top with frequent occasion. Everybody likes to come over the top now. Taking a page out of Chuck Liddell's book. A little slip by Carl Parisian. Right back up to his feet. to erase the disappointment of his last fight, which was the one in which he was defeated by Diego Sanchez. Diego won that fight with heart and conditioning. 
and some phenomenal skill as well, but uh, really, really won that fight down the stretch. Carl is an immensely talented guy, and if he's ever received any criticism, it's that he doesn't train up to his talents. Well, the interesting thing is early in his career, he was able to do that and still win all the time, Joe, but now that he's an elitist, yes. he has to put everything together. Exactly. That, that is the problem. His judo and his grappling is so strong, and he's so powerful, and his cardio is so good naturally. I mean, he's, a, he's just a phenomenal athlete. From the years and years of throwing people around, he's landing some nice punches here. But at this level of the game, you got to have more than that. You got to have it all. There's guys that are just like him that are working just a little bit harder, and uh, you got to pick up the pace. And it looks like he has done just that. I mean, losing. I mean, Carl's got a huge heart, and he's got a, a you know a, a very big ego. And losing a fight like that to Diego uh, has got to sting. So uh, I'm sure he wants to redeem himself very badly. Judo Jean Labelle in attendance tonight to support his longtime student Carl Parisian. Again with the right hand, Carl is just landing that over and over again. Drew jumps in with the knee. Oh, good straight left. Good high kick. You know, Carl is really getting the better of these stand-up exchanges, which is a little surprising. Not that Carl's stand-up is bad, but uh, I, I would have thought Drew would have had the edge there. One of the things that Carl said, you're not going to take Carl down like that. One of the things that Carl said before this was that he thinks Drew's not on his level, and that that might be contributing to his relaxation in this fight. You know, he really believes that Drew is a, a, a B-level fighter, and he is an A-level fighter. Drew really looking for the takedown. Carl says, not here in round one. Let's take a look at some of the action in that first round. Beautiful right hand by Carl Parisian. Carl has really been working on his striking. Lands that nice Superman punch and a follow-up right hand. Rochelle Leah, the gorgeous host of UFC All Access. Carl is just muscling Drew Ficken around here. Boom! Big takedown! Drew's holding on to the overhooks. And a tight guard. He does not want to let Carl loose here and start eating elbows and punches. Drew is stuffed up against the fence here, and he's taking some shots. He's got to do something to spin out of here and get out of this position. He's just wrapping him up tight here. He's not looking for a submission, it doesn't look like. It looks like he's just trying to control him. Good elbow from the bottom. Parisian bloodied up. Blood coming from its right eye. Really hammering away with the elbows here. That was an elbow from below by Drew Fickett. It's tough to see what's going on there, how bad that cut is, but there is a lot of blood. Carl looks like, I don't know if Fickett is hit as well as cut as well, Joe. He is cut as well. Yep, so they both are cut now. Carl's got mount. Nope, he's got, he's got half guard. And that was courtesy of a Carl Parisian elbow. Yeah, Carl's punishing him for that cut that he got himself. Carl is turning up the heat. He really is. Good job by Drew Fick in avoiding Carl taking his back there. A great start to round number two. They're going to check some cuts now. Half guard, OK? We're going to return to it. Wow, that is a bad cut under Carl's eye. It's a very bad cut. He's cut touching him at. with his fingers. It looks nasty. That's bad, man. He just looked up at the monitor to take a look at it himself. That might be the end of the fight. That is, that is a bad, bad there, cut. Guys. We're going to return to it. Okay. All right, wow. the doctor says it's OK. And it's OK. okay, okay. That Back thing's nasty. Guys. Carl's shaking his head. He does not want that. Well, it's under his eye, which is somewhat of a benefit. The blood won't come down and roll and impair his vision. It's OK, but that's going to leave a mark. Good body shots by Carl. Carl's got control here. Side control. 
Good job by Drew Fickett trying to get out of that. Drew Fickett very squirmy from the bottom. Carl's got to look out for those up kicks. What a different type of battle here in round two. Oh, yeah. big right. Nice right hand by Carl. Totally different fight. And this demonstrates the versatility of the sport of mixed martial arts. Yeah, absolutely. Everything on the feet basically in round one, Joe. Everything basically on the ground here in round number two. Drew Fickett going for a Kimura of his own. He's got to look out here. He's going to get caught in armbar if he's not careful. Parisian, careful with he's the kick back. again. Carl looking to impose his will. But Drew Fickett is doing a good job of avoiding that will. He's, uh, he's staying very active on the bottom, regaining guard over and over again. He's taking some shots, but as you see from that big cut on Carl's face, he's dangerous from the bottom. And both of these men have fought the best of the best at 170. From Diaz to Josh Neer and Koscheck and Berkman, the other Joshes. For Drew Fickett, for Carl Parisian, George St. Pierre, Dick Diaz, Chris Lytle, Matt Serra. What a deep division. I mean, you, you talk about a talented Perhaps division. Perhaps the best division in the world. I, I believe so. And bleeding out of his forehead area is Drew Fickett. And that was courtesy of an elbow from Carl Parisian. And Carl's landing more of those elbows. Less than 90 seconds remains in round two. Seconds of round two. And Fickett scoring some valuable points. Drew Fickett is a warrior. He will not quit. And he's just landing these shots now. Continuously. But we're going to head to the third round. Wow. What a battle. Wow. It's so loud in here you can't even hear the bell. These guys are going nuts. You want to talk about appreciative fans. Let's listen into the corner of Drew Fickett. Beautiful. Keep it up. Now you box. Look over here. Breathe. Breathe. Do it beautifully. Okay. Now you're gonna box. Okay. Use your angle. Use your forward. Take it slow. Just keep dabbing it. Watch that overhand. That's all he's got. And okay. the heat, Carl Parisian. Both guys are beat up. Couldn't ask for a better man to work on that cut than Jacob Stitch Duran. The man, the best. Watching it on red. Hello, Miramar. Thank you, our prayers, our thanks to the bats. Helping to protect our freedom every day. And as the men and women of Miramar are doing. Tell me those guys aren't enjoying those fights. Dude, it's like five in the morning there. <laughs> Let's take a look at how thick it got cut here. Vicious elbows on the top from Caro. And this is Drew Fickett landing the elbow from the bottom. Right there, bang. That's what it did it. Just that little short elbow, and the blood starts flowing. Thank what a great you. fight. Leon, take a little of that grease off. Leon Tabs, take a little bit of grease work off. in the other corner. Oh, that's all right, that's all right, all right. They're going to clean all right. it up. All right, that's good. You got Stitch, you got Leon, two of the best in the business, working the cuts, working the corners here tonight. OK, hold on, time out, time they out, They got time grease out. in Drew Fickett's get, get eye. Get the towel, get it out of his eye. Ivan Salaberry attends to his fighter Drew Fickett. All right, all right, are we ready? Third and final You're round. Ready. Here from Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. This is a very, very close fight. What a great fight. Drew Fickett looks fresh. Look at him moving around great. 
Oh, the heat with some power. Oh, it's open already. The cut under the eye of Parisian is open just from above. Good jab by Carl. Carl took out his mouthpiece to spit. Keep that mouthpiece in, Carl. Keep the mouthpiece in. Good, good kick, shot. good answer. By Fickett. Good Remember, right hand Carl, Carl was very comfortable with his hands on the feet in round number one. Yeah, his uh, his stand-up has improved quite a bit. This is why we came here tonight, to put this great sport on display for the Marines in attendance. And they're doing it in real-life situations. Carl has got some heavy, heavy hands. You know, you see it, those jabs and those punches he's landing. Would you say this fight is at one round apiece right now? I could, you can, you can see it that way. Yeah, Carl number one, Fickett number two. But then again, you can see it's, it's real tough. You'd have to go over it, scoring the fight instead of just calling it, and look at blow by blow. Uh -huh. I, I could see that second round being given to Carl as well. I mean, he was on top, landing a lot of damage. I could see both rounds going to Carl. But you know what? I mean, we, we've seen some weird scoring in the Absolutely. past. Absolutely. And that's the one subjective. thing our fighters don't want, Joe. They don't want to go to the judges' scorecards. Yeah. Stepping forward with that jab is Carl Parisian. Parisian shorts are drenched with blood. Really stepping into the jab. Carl throwing some good shots here. Oh, nice job by Drew Fickett. Look at that. Pickett ducked under, goes for the takedown and tried to roll into a knee bar, but unfortunately now he's on the bottom. And a good spot for Carl Parisian. Yeah. And Carl Parisian is very heavy in this position. He's so good at placing his weight, and he decided to stand up. Yeah, Carl definitely felt like round one went better than round two. Yeah, good job for him uh, by uh, Drew of getting up there. Both are young, too, as we talked about on the tail of the tape. Pickett just 26, Parisian just 24. Parisian has been fighting since he was 16 years old. Moved with his family from Armenia to Hollywood at age six. And he was fighting grown men at that age. Yes, grown men in the cage. The 2004 Olympic qualifier in judo. Less than two minutes remains in this fight. Fickett continuing to try to fire with the knees. Parisian with the straight left. Pickett, look for a takedown. Parisian said no way. So far, no one has done anything definitive in this round to really seal it. I'd say this round is still up for grabs. Yep, he yelled for the takedown. trying to leave no doubt in the judges' minds if indeed this fight lasts another 70 seconds. I'm surprised Carl didn't fall him to the ground there. I guess he's so comfortable on his feet. Uh, he just scoots out of the way like a matador. And Fickett now looks like he's running out of gas a bit. Fickett goes for the single. And you know what? Carl does not look like he's running out of gas, which he definitively did against Diego Sanchez. Uh oh, Carl's on top now. Yeah, he's he's definitely worked on his conditioning. He looks in great shape. But Carl Fickett, I mean, uh, Drew, Drew Fickett, rather, isn't Diego Sanchez, so the pressure isn't as intense. Excellent point. But I'm sure he made a promise to himself he wasn't going to let cardio separate himself from a future championship opportunity again. Drew actually turning his back to Carl to try to get up. He's going to roll here and try to get to guard. Stands up. Wow. Good job by Drew Ficken standing up there. Final seconds of the third and final round. What a spirited fight this is. The Warriors performing Drew. in front of the Warriors. We will tally the 
judges scorecards when we return to Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. Oh, how good is that? First Lieutenant Michael McNeil, Captain Joe Medeiros, and Captain Jeff Steele for their time yesterday helping to educate me on what Marine Corps Air Station Miramar is all about. Who is the victor, Drew Pickett or Carl Parisian? Here with the decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Carl! the 